This conference will now be recorded. Ah, uh, guys, as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so we don't talk about our, you know, everyday stocks too often because they're everyday stocks, huge stories, big textbooks, not our cliff notes. Um, but overall, just, you know, to see the volume that came in, I'm a little bit shocked at the amount that came in and how much of the move it actually made. But just keep in mind, it has the uh, ask prints from earlier today up at that 220 area. So I'm not really giving many prints today whatsoever. I just want to point that out real quick, you know, for anyone that does watch this on a consistent basis, because, you know, that, that was a beautiful trigger. It just, you know, and on top of the fact that it has those prints back up above the 220. So SPCE, I told you guys this morning that it looked like a short based off of everything that we saw going into it. And we got our short, you know, absolutely beautiful. Now, you know, keep in mind, it's, you know, one of those stocks It's definitely continuously getting that building up above, above that 19 level. We can see too, um, right under that 1950, as well as around that 1920, 1925 area, we have absolutely phenomenal buying. The buying that we've been seeing shows that it can, you know, that it shouldn't have any trouble with a real trading volume coming in for us to be able to break up above that 20 level. It's just really going to be a matter of the release point. Um, you can see it gets a little bit stingy sometimes, and it looks like it gets into those kind of, kind of consolidated buying, and then we get those, you know, that volume out of nowhere. So something to certainly be looking for in SPCE coming into this afternoon. CMCSA. So we got our show of hand earlier this morning. We went up to 47. We did not hit, and we triggered down. I don't know how much more I could talk about this pattern, guys, but if you're not anticipating it at this point, you are 100% missing the boat, and you just don't care about easy money. That's all. Continuously look for that pattern. Now, we did have some selling that was coming into it towards those lows, right into that 45.50. It did not hit. Um, so obviously, we can see that it did kind of push up to that dollar, but it has the selling to get us to that 45. It's just going to be a matter if we get enough trading volume to actually get it out of this kind of quantity type um, trading that we have. Um, we, we went over some stuff in class that I can't wait to talk about it just based off of how to interpret the prints and especially looking for the, the prints that come after the people that we're going to follow and it just <laughs> followed absolutely it was just beautiful and we'll talk about that all at 3 p.m. this afternoon but it's another one that I got to keep my eyes on I have to continue to watch pins p-i-n-s now this thing just give it won't get off our freaking radar <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the way that it trades I really am I'm not but um, it's not going to be a huge mover, but it gives the opportunity to trade so many shares and and be very controlled. And we can see coming up to this 23 area that, you know, we haven't had anything that's that spectacular. But right here, this is the burst that really stood out to me is two, uh, 2277 to 2280, uh, that 2280. So by far has the buying to be able to break above that 23. Just be careful of another little trick because we're at high of day. We know the market makers are going to be there. So be careful of a little trick, you know, where they bring it down a bunch. But overall, no reason in the world that this thing does not break that 23 point. PCG, another one. It's not the prettiest. It does get a little bit consolidated, but it's been giving some nice triggers. And the triggers that it's been giving have some really high volume into it. And that's something that I really do love. As we were pushing into that 14, obviously we didn't make it there um, because our volume bar was way too high. Okay, came out of nowhere, way too big, but it definitely has the buying for us to be able to get up to that 14. We can see we have some decent buying that's coming around that uh, 1375-ish area right in there. So it's once again, it's definitely got the buying there. Um, it's just really going to be a matter of if we can get that consistent trading volume coming into the afternoon. INO, so INO, another one where it's not the prettiest looking stock, but we have volume coming into like this, and we have a double top, you know, right in the to right above, you know, for 25 cents on such a cheap stock, um, as well as, you know, the volume that's coming in, orders are pretty thick. Um, there's nothing special here. So that's the thing is that there's nothing that's really jumped out to me. I mean, obviously we have the ask prints at four and, you know, they're controlling prints, but I just want to see so much when I look at stocks like this, especially when they have that high volume. I really want to see just a huge amount. And yes, Steve, 100%. Okay, I mean, the, the trade towards the upside, even higher percentage because that completely failed play that we had before. And that's really what I'm talking about right here is that 420-ish area where we saw that buying coming in before. We have, there's no reason in the world we can't get to that double top as long as we continue that volume and we continue that trading that's going on. Um, and then NVAX, I'm still going to be looking at NVAX because you can short it. And once again, it's not the best spot, but they tried so many times to get people to, uh, 
basically caught in that eight level in order to what looks like drop it on them. And we see that selling that's coming back in. So you know what? We have a little bit of room down towards where that double bottom is. We have about 30 cents, which on a stock like this, 30 cents, you know, not a bad, not a bad, uh, bad takeaway. So let's see what we get here at that 750. If we continuously see that selling coming in and we don't want to see a ton, but we want to see some selling coming in to show us that we'll be able to continue on our way down. Overall, I still do think that don't get me wrong, I'll, overall, I still do think even after a breakdown that we end up going up above that eight level based off the amount of uh, of a position that we saw coming into there before. And, and really, I mean, they showed that they, they wanted it to go higher. But when you look over here on the daily, it tells us a huge amount. We have that gap that's right there. I wouldn't be shocked to see it go down to six first because we, we've seen it. OK, this, you know, we, we go, we pushed up to 10. If you look at the actual high, it didn't print a 10 because it's 999. We ended up coming back down, but it's still holding very well. So I'm going to be watching this one pretty damn closely um, over the next few days. All right, guys. And other than that, anything else out there that I missed? ONTX, I, I see, is, you know, starting to push towards that upside. Unfortunately, I just don't see enough. Uh, you know, it's, you know, for the 40 to 46, there's you know, six cents I can see there. But other than that, I mean, it's just not enough, um, enough volume that's coming into there. And then just take a look at pins real quick based off of what we just talked about. I mean, if this doesn't confirm it, I don't know what the hell does, but see this right here. That's what we call a ballsy big position. So expect a little bit of a pullback from there because if it's at the high of the day, we expect a little bit of games. But like I said, I don't see how it holds at 23. All right, guys, anything else out there that I missed? Anything else out there that we got going on? <clears throat> ah, beautiful. So let's get ready for our afternoon. We have classes that are going to start at 3 p.m. So I'll be sending out that link in a few minutes. Make sure you look out for that. Other than that, I'll talk to everyone in the chat and everyone else a little bit later in class. Happy trading. <laughs>